Hey guys, so I'm just coming on here to show you this pink flower that looks like a star. Now, um, I'm at a customer's house, so I'm not going to kind of sit in front of that pot because it's just, you know, not appropriate on an account. But anyway, um, you guys saw that pink flower that looked like a star. If I could upload a picture of it, um, I would, but YouTube won't let me do that, and I don't have a computer, and I'm not really tech savvy, so I'm not really sure how exactly to do that. But you guys saw that pink flower that looked like a star. I was being heavily attacked, heavily attacked um, before I got here. The enemy was getting in my head, telling me that I made a mistake and that um, there was no turning back and that I lost my salvation, so on and so forth. And I started panicking, freaking out. And I was praying and going into Bible verses. And I even saw some Bible verses that just downright scared me. And I started praying. I was like, Lord, Lord, please, please let me know if you're angry with me. Please forgive me for any sins I may have committed. Please let me know if you're angry with me. And please let me know if I have lost my salvation somehow. Please show me a pink star within the next five minutes. And so I got to this account, was talking to the customer for, I don't know how long, um, but was talking to the customer. And when I finished talking to the customer, I'm looking around frantically looking for a pink star. And I turn and I see this pink flower that looks like a star. And it took everything in me not to break down because I'm at a customer's house. I'm still at this customer's house. And I was just giving thanks to the Lord and praising him. And uh, he came in to me and told me, do not fear. Do not fear. Do not fear. You are mine. You are my Heshkina. And I don't know if I can zoom in. Do you guys see that circle thing up there? I know it's dark and shady in that garage. That's as far as I can zoom in. It looks like one of those um, wreaths, those intertwined wreaths. And the second I looked at it, it looked, it reminded me of the crown of thorns because there's stuff coming out of it, like little spikes from the wood. And I just heard Jesus telling me, I died for you. <sighs> Let me tell you, the enemy is out for us. I've been being attacked quite a bit. There's a lot of chaos going on right now. Um, things happening in my life that I did not think I'd be dealing with. Um, and you know what? I, the Lord has given me so much peace, so much peace. Yes, there have been moments where I'm being attacked and I have to run to him. Just like now I was being heavily attacked. I've been heavily attacked this morning by really cruel customers. Um, he's just really trying, you know, to wear me down and the Lord is my strength and I've been saying that throughout the day that the Lord is my strength any strength that I have is given to me from Jesus and I have strength through Jesus and he told me to come on here and share this with you guys to help encourage his church he wants me to help continue to encourage everyone hold on don't listen to the lies do not listen to the lies. Anything that is not of God's truth and promises that he has promised us, it's not true. It's not true. Don't listen to it. And wherever you are right now, no matter what the Lord has taken from you, um, 
no matter what situation you're in, if you're in a different different situation that you were in before, this is all in God's will. And God is doing what he wills. Let's just keep moving. Keep moving with the Lord. Keep moving with Jesus. And be thankful that he is right around the corner. He's coming to bring us home soon. I am so grateful for where I am in my life right now because I look around and I see so many people who are lost. So many people making just very, very poor decisions. And I mean, we all make poor decisions, but people that are making just detrimental decisions and they don't understand the cost of their decisions. And many people that are just lost. And that could have been, that could have been me. That could have been any one of us deceived. But the Lord has called us and we are his. And so keep walking. We, we know that it's going to get rough before he comes back. We know this. We know that there will be persecution in many different forms. We know this. His promises are being fulfilled. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you guys. Love you guys. God bless. Bye.